in the last video I spoke about how to bring back the Microsoft Edge legacy browser in case your window updated and you are not able to uh, get back to the past version so this is how you do it if you haven't watched it go back and check the first part of the video I'll also link uh, the past video below but for this video we are going to talk about how to stop the Windows update which is this is what I'm talking about because this updates from time to time and you don't want to get become the victim of this update and it will automatically convert this legacy browser into Microsoft Edge Chromium browser so for this you'll have to make a registry file how to make it um, you just say um, a new notepad you need but you'll need some text to be put into that notepad um, and I'll show you what text would you need so you basically just um, I'll try to see if I can open this file um, okay all right so this is the text that you will need you can look at it or of course you do, shouldn't make any mistake this blank space is also very important it's kind of a code written here that will tell the system what to do so once you have copied this text from the description of the video then you go to just type maybe don't even look at it I'll show you how to do it so here notepad and just control V you can paste it um, the by default notepad is saved as text file so you don't want to just click or uh, click save or just press control s you would uh, you would want to click save as and change it to anything for example in my own case I'll just write Z but my file has to end at dot reg because we're gonna make a registry file and again because of the default format it is text uh, we'll have to change it to all files and then click save and I've chosen the pathway to desktop so I'll see it on my desktop now I can close it after this now you'll see this type of icon double click it uh, make sure your your browser is also closed so once it is closed click the uh, double click it and click yes uh, it says that you're going to um, tweak with some registry information of the system are you really sure that you want to do something so if you have done some uh, the way I'm doing it if you have done everything correctly you don't have to worry so just click re click yes here and then it says that key and the values contained in this have been successfully added to the registry what registered here is that it will never be updated automatically whenever there is any update in the video uh, in the in the window so you can feel free to check for updates install as many updates as you want so system wouldn't override this legacy browser to the Microsoft Edge um, chromium based browser so this is all about this video I hope you enjoyed it and uh, thank you for watching